Good morning, everybody. What a pleasure to see a hall room full of doctors uh, that we resonate with what we think. I think coming on a Sunday morning, it's amazing to find uh, so much of energy. The energy is so palpable, the excitement, the willingness to, you know, like Dr. Rupa said, unlearn and relearn. Uh, it requires courage. So I am really happy to see so many, so many courageous people. Not just that, they are very caring. You not only want to do good for yourself, but for your patients. You are here because you want to heal better, heal more and more completely. The purpose is to bring exemplary healthcare professionals together who are practicing evidence-based nutrition to create an awareness and uh, to show the importance and the impact of a plant-based diet, not just to prevent, but to treat and even reverse chronic diseases. And all of you are here because you care enough. You care for yourselves, you care for your patients, your practice, the planet and the world. So uh, this is a beautiful day. It's a really uh, overwhelming to know, feel and know that all of you are here, open-minded, uh, ready to take on this challenge and move on and take uh, nutrition as a core uh, in unshakable part of your practice. Yes. Okay, thank you. Basically, I'm so super excited and happy to see such a full room on a Sunday morning, as everybody said. Basically, what we're doing is we're first training doctors about evidence-based nutrition. You know, what we need to understand is actually there is, you know, there is lots of evidence, 50, 60 years of evidence out there. We need to be able to analyze it and start practicing it. Nobody is saying that right straight away, blindly go to plant-based. Start being part of the group engage with us, learn with us, let's form, as ma'am said, a large, strong Mumbai team and then let's start about, let's start learning about it. Once you start learning, you will, you will start practicing. Evidence-based nutrition, primarily focused on plant-based diet, is highly potential, not only to reverse diseases, but also to help them live a very thriving life. Actually, if you're not introducing them to those, to that, Actually, you are taking a privilege out of your patient. Please do not do that. Actually, start practicing this. Why doctors and nutritionists? Very simple. Because currently the nutrition inf information is disseminated by influencers and other media people. We need to take, take charge of it because we know the human body much better than anybody else. And we need to only learn a bit of nutrition. That's all actually. Have you ever wondered why humans actually have to be told what to eat, when to eat and how much to eat. You know, these people seem to be pretty sorted. They know what is to be done, when it is to be done, how it is to be done, right? And they certainly don't have CMEs like these. Just talk about what should we be eating, okay? So my question is, what the hell is wrong with us, right? So the problem is, that we eat for convenience, comfort and pleasure. We have stopped eating for survival, right? And that is what is leading us to suffering and death. Meat and processed, red meat and processed meat are number one carcinogens in level with asbestos and smoking. And plant foods are on the contrary anti-cancer foods and protect against multiple types of cancers. The studies have shown that the risk of developing moderate to severe COVID was 73% less with plant-based diet or they protect against multiple other viruses as well. So to conclude, what we are not changing, we are choosing. So by not changing what is coming to your plate and opting for a plant-based diet, you are actually choosing the chicken industry, the mutton industry, the pork industry, the beef industry, the fish industry, the egg industry and the dairy industry. We are choosing this by not opting out. Ace prevents us from seeing the pain of our fellow creatures. Thank you. Uh, I'm Ajay Prabhu. For about 18 years, I was working for NIH, which is the National Institutes of Health in the United States. I want to take you to, through a case for PCOS. So, notice where the PCOS uh, incidence is highest. It's in, it's in the Western countries. 
uh, and of course now mera bharat maha now we getting it because we are getting more and more of the same lifestyle tendencies so it's increasing by leaps and bounds is 23% of women in uh, in india have been uh, affected 70% of women don't even know that they have pcos uh, cornerstone of a uh, di- uh, reversal for pcos is exactly the whole food plant based and so you know whole grains um, legumes so uh, this fruits and vegetables nuts seeds healthy fats and this is going to go through this fast so that, pay attention to the physical activity that you prescribe to the patient stress management sleep hygiene is very important for pcos and uh, of course mental health support okay thank you sir how was it so far and learning is going on so many questions in your head i'm sure next 24 hours you will be thinking about it diet and such fantastic stories of reverse as we get the stage ready for the panel discussion Ladies and gentlemen, vitamin B12 is one of the largest and most structurally complex biomolecules with a molecular weight of 1355 daltons in the cyanoform coordinated in four equatorial regions around the nitrogen atom. Have you understood anything? I didn't understand so don't worry. This is how all chapters in a book on B12 start and which immediately makes you close the book and go for a cup of coffee. <laughs> and you know i don't know why we make our books so loaded with factual information without making it applicable and clinical which only the british books tend to make now what is what do vitamins do vitamins we can see are essential for an organism's metabolism my grandson's seventh standard book science book says that b12 is found only in animal foods okay forget everything is deleted after that and then there is a whole list of animal foods there is no talk about anything else so the child comes and tells me every day that dada uh, milk is the perfect food egg is the best food it's written in my science book my science teacher told me so you see from what level the brainwashing starts it starts pre teenage how do you expect anyone to have anything going on normally or you know sanely in their heads after that when they have been brainwashed at that early age so we know that b12 is not made by animals or plants so who makes b12 and that's the interesting question b12 is made by the humblest of creatures bacteria and that shows us that whoever we are we are dependent on those very very the the, the, the earliest of creatures which were found okay and harrison very clearly says in his chapter that vegans and he he goes to the extent of i would almost say that it's a racist statement that hindus have the highest chance of becoming b12 why because there is a maximum vegetarianism in hindus that is written very clearly in the last edition that but many of the vegans don't get clinically apparent b12 deficiency because your enterohepatic circulation is maintained take a supplement okay if you can't do all this you can't get millets you can't take all that take a supplement it's very easy and now supplements are available in different forms you need not if you feel your tablet is not going to get absorbed you get nasal spray you got gummies which can be absorbed through the oral mucosa so b12 is great from that point ladies and gentlemen there is nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come and nothing more destructive than an idea whose time has passed the time for meat has passed let us wake up to the new dawn of veganism thank you thank you so much doctor so doctor is you know finally ye gathering khatam hua kaise laga oh bahut i'm overwhelmed actually i am really excited to work with all of you guys actually you know really really actually it's like so much of energy in mumbai already people are following the doctors are very curious to learn it's beautiful even the media people were so so actually welcoming how did you find this conference 
excellent. I think uh, this is something that is absolutely needed. Um, there is, you know, look at all the doctors and nutritionists here, and dietitians and all. They, a lot of them came up to me with a very surprised look at the face, saying that we've never, we never really thought about this aspect of having plants and not worrying about having animal, animal-based foods. ये कॉन्फ्रेंस कैसे लगा आपको? It was really nice and a very great initiative by Pan India. So आपके बात सुनके मुझे ऐसे लगा कि ऐसे कॉन्फ्रेंसेस जब हम डॉक्टर को इकट्ठा करके न्यूट्रिशन के बारे में बताएं ऐसे और भी बहुत होनी चाहिए। ये होनी चाहिए because अभी भी still हमारे जो डॉक्टर्स हैं, see doctors are you know हम लोगों को लगता है हमें बहुत ज़्यादा चीजें आती हैं, है ना? Practically मैं अगर � चीजों के साथ पॉप अप कर जाते हैं कि we are very good at this thing, we are good at that thing. तो लेकिन कभी-कभी कुछ चीजें जो हैं हम छूट जाती हैं हमसे भी और गलतियां हम भी करते हैं. So I guess इस तरीके के जो इवेंट्स होते हैं, they are really an eye opener. ये पूरा जो गैदरिंग था, ये खास डॉक्टरों को बुलाया आप लोगों ने. जी. डॉक्टर्स के लिए क्यों किया? ये डॉक्टरों के लिए इसके लिए किया है क्योंकि हम एक-एक पेशेंट को पहुंचने में बहुत वक्त लगता है एक डॉक्टर एक दिन में 20 30 50 पेशेंट्स को बता सकेगा कि भैया ये तुम्हारे लिए सही नहीं है जो सालों से कर रहे हैं अभी चेंज करो और देखना क्या हो रहा है शुड वी डू मोर एंड मोर कॉन्फ्रेंसेस लाइक दिस फॉर डॉक्टर्स स्पेसिफिकली आई थिंक यस बिकॉज़ डॉक्टर्स इन जनरल आर नॉट यू नो देयर इज नॉट मच ऑफ एक्सपोजर टुवर्ड्स न्यूट्रिशन बेस्ड मेडिसिन ड्यूरिंग देयर एजुकेशन and uh, once we step out of it, we get you know busy with our practices and we again start focusing on pharmacological treatment. We don't try to go to the root cause of these problems and try to treat them. Uh, such conferences on nutrition are going to change the you know future treatment plans. Sir, how did you feel this conference today? It was very good. There was a lot of good information, a lot of good knowledge. There are a lot of new things, which are the lifestyle, which are not known to people today. बात तो करते हैं लोग बट उसका सही साइंस जो है वो लोगों को आज की तारीख में पता नहीं और वो यहाँ पे समझाया गया हाउ वॉज दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस फॉर यू आई थिंक इट वॉज अमेजिंग वेरी वेरी प्रोडक्टिव एंड लॉट ऑफ टेक होम पर्ल्स एंड इट्स गोइंग टू डेफिनेटली हेल्प लॉट ऑफ पीपल इन देर प्रैक्टिस एंड इट्स गोइंग टू एज अ करोलरी हेल्प पेशेंट्स So, do you think we should have lot more conferences like this for doctors, or should we leave the doctors out? No, you should have, but they, we can have a separate set, uh, Vignesh, for laymen. Doctor Rohit, uh, how was this conference? Amazing experience. It has motivated me to encourage more people to go for whole food, plant-based diet and adopt veganism to save the world for my own daughter. So, what do you think? I mean. आपको क्या लगता है ये ऐसे कॉन्फ्रेंसेस शुड वी डू अ लॉट मोर फॉर डॉक्टर्स और ये डॉक्टर्स के लिए जरूरी है तो क्यों ये डॉक्टर्स के लिए बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि डॉक्टर्स कैन बी बिग गेम चेंजर्स इन द सोसाइटी अगर कोई डॉक्टर के मुंह से सुनता है कि मिल्क पॉइजन है तो वो चीज को मानेगा राधा देन अ कॉमन मैन सेइंग इट एंड वी डॉक्टर्स नीड टू ब्रेक द मिथ व्हाट सम इंडस्ट्री पीपल आर प्रमोटिंग सेइंग दैट कि मीट एंड डेयरी इज हेल्दी कैसे लगा आज का गैदरिंग बहुत अच्छा था बहुत ज़्यादा जोश था एंथुसियाज़म था और सबसे अच्छी चीज़ ये है कि जानने की एक कोशिश थी कि क्या सही है और क्या गलत है किसकी जानने की कोशिश थी क्या डॉक्टर्स की और उनको यही चीज़ समझने की वो कोशिश कर रहे थे कि इतना सुनने में आ रहा है कि प्लांट्स प्रेफर कीजिए एनिमल्स प्रेफर मत कीजिए एज फूड तो काफ़ी सवाल है क्योंकि आजकल का जो गूगल एरा है और सोशल मीडिया का एरा है उसमें आपको जो चीज़ के बारे में इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए वैसी ही इन्फॉर्मेशन आपको मिल जाती है पर उसका बेसिस पता नहीं होता कि इसमें कितना तथ्य है कितना एविडेंस बेस्ड है जो हम मेडिसिन में कहते हैं क्या लगता है आपको ऐसी जो कॉन्फ्रेंसेज हैं ऐसी जो गैदरिंग है ऐसे और होनी चाहिए बिल्कुल होनी चाहिए क्योंकि उनके भी बहुत सारे सवाल हैं जो कभी बारी एक दो तीन घंटे में नहीं हो सकते हमारे भी तो नॉलेज धीरे धीरे करके और हम अभी भी सीख रहे हो सकता है आज से चार साल बाद मुझ पास कुछ और हो बताने के लिए तो ऐसे हमें और भी करना चाहिए करना ही चाहिए थैंक यू